Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about the awesome multitasking features in iOS 9. If you're using an iPad running iOS 9, there's an extremely cool new feature where you can actually overlay a separate app on top of another one. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about right now. No matter what app you're in, let's just go to the App Store for example. In landscape or portrait mode, just swipe your finger from the right side to the left side of the screen from kind of this middle area right here and look at this guys. I'm on my website right now, browsing it, clicking on links while I'm on top of the app store at the same time. Now if you want to switch apps, maybe you don't feel like looking at a website right now, take that little grabber at the top of the screen and just swipe it down like that. You get a very, very nice looking animation and you can swipe up and down or all of these apps and also overlay them on top of what you're already doing. So to show you guys how this works, I'm just going to swipe up a tad bit and tap on the videos application. It's instantly like I was using the videos application, going to show me all the movies either stored on my iPad here or in my iTunes account in the cloud. Now if I actually tap on the home movie section, look at that, it's one of my own videos that I can play right now. And after the movie has finished loading, I want to show you guys something else that is absolutely crazy in the iOS 9 multitasking arena. Check out this icon in the very bottom right hand corner of the screen. When we tap on that, it will actually overlay the video on top of whatever we are doing. This is one of the coolest things that I have seen on stock iOS in many, many years. But by far the coolest thing is this. When you press the home button and you have a video playing in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can continue to watch that video not only on your home screen, but throughout any other area on your iPad. Another thing that's really cool is that it kind of auto locks when you throw the video around the screen. You can put it in the top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right corner. Now it wouldn't really make sense to put it in the middle of the screen, but if you want to resize the window to make it slightly larger, just go ahead and do that pinch to zoom feature or gesture animation and look at that guys, the video becomes bigger than it was before. And now we move on to the final multitasking feature that all of you have probably been waiting for. As you saw in the thumbnail for this video, Apple introduced true split screen multitasking with the iPad Air 2 in iOS 9. If you slide over right here from this grabber, you get an interesting little animation where you can dynamically resize the apps on the left and right side of the screen. With iOS 9 and multitasking, you can now run two apps side by side, and let me tell you guys, it is absolutely awesome. You can be on Safari and take notes at the exact same time. You can scroll up on the right side and scroll down on the left side. The possibilities with this are literally endless. I just can't get over the fact of how cool it is to be able to actually run two apps simultaneously on the iPad Air 2. Now this feature I believe is exclusively available with the iPad Air 2 alone because of that 2 gigs of RAM that Apple has inside of it. Any other Apple device ever has had only 1 gig of RAM or less, and I think the iPad Air 2 finally has the power to easily manage two apps at the same time. For more on iOS 9, of course hit that subscribe button down below because I have loads of content coming up for you guys in the next few hours, and of course the following days, weeks, and months. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys had a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video.